So problem 3, 2 kg of uh, water, so m equal to 2 kg at 25 degrees, T1 equal to 25 degrees centigrade in a frictionless piston change arrangement as in the figure. The mass of the piston is such that it uh, exerts a pressure of 100, so that is directly the piston pressure is given. Atmospheric pressure also is same. So that means when the piston has to float, the pressure should be atmospheric pressure plus piston pressure that is 200. At least it should be this, okay, when the piston has to float. So at state 1, the pressure should be 100 plus 100 is equal to 200 kilopascals. So that is the thing. Now, heat is slowly added heat is slowly added when the piston just touches the stops. So let us say that is state 2. State 2 is when piston just touches the stops. So that means I will say V2 sorry P2 will be the same 200 kilopascals and V2 we can calculate okay so that we can ensure this because at till that point it will be a constant pressure process then after that state 3 here temperature finally reaches heated until the temperature finally is 1000 degrees centigrade so T3 will be 1000 degrees centigrade so these are the states which are given to us so uh, here when the present test the stops T2 is also given 240 degrees centigrade temperature. Pressure should be constant at this point. Then pressure should increase because piston cannot move upwards, the pressure will increase. Constant volume will occur then. So, this is the problem. So, let us see uh, state 1 properties. State 1. State 1 is 200 kilopascals, 25 degrees centigrade. So, we have to go to the tables. So, here if you go to the tables, 200 kilopascals is 2 bar. So, we are in 2 bar now, 2 bar and uh, we will see that the temperature is for 2 bar saturation temperature is 120.2 okay at, at 2 bar. T sat saturation temperature is 120.2 degrees centigrade, but T1 is 25 degrees centigrade. So, the state is subcooled liquid. So, subcooled liquid state is the state 1. So, this means properties of saturated liquid at the given temperature can be taken. So, what I am saying is V1 will be equal to Pf at 25 degree centigrade u1 equal to uf at 25 degree centigrade. So, that is the main because it is a cool liquid. Okay. So, what we are saying here is here the saturation lines are like this in a TV diagram. So, the pressure will be like this, but for the given pressure of say 2 bar, you are here somewhere. This is 25 degree centigrade and this is 120.2 degree centigrade. So, you should not take the value corresponding to the pressure, but take the values corresponding to the temperature. This is 25 degree centigrade. So, for subcooled liquid, the properties of saturated liquid at the given temperature should be taken. So, that is what we are trying to get here. So, V1 will be equal to, so we will see the properties again. So, go to the, now we should not take the entries from the saturated pressure tables, but go to the entries in the saturation temperature based tables. Here you can see that 
for 25 degrees the value of vf vg are given but we have to take value of uh, vf which is this and the uf okay so now v1 equal to 0.001032 meter cube per kg very small well volume similarly u1 will be equal to 104.9 kilo joule per kg so these are the initial state properties process 1 to 2 occurs at constant pressure because the piston is free to move so p2 will be also equal to the same as p1 so 200 kilo pascals t2 is given as 240 degrees centigrade so t sat t sat at 200 kilo pascals equal to 120.2 degree centigrade now we see that t2 is greater than t sat at p2 implies the state 2 is superheated state reaction so like this in the, in the previous year this is 120 but the given for state 2 it is 240 so you are in the superheated state so state 2 is in superheated state from superheated tables for 2 bar we will see the entries now so here this is the table we are talking about two bar table temperature is 240 so here you can see that we have to interpolate between these two entries 200 and 250 are given but the given temperature is 240 so we have to interpolate so we know that at 200 the specific volume is 1.08 at 250 it is 1.199 so for 240 what it will be so that we can take here so interpolating interpolating between 200 degree centigrade and 250 degree centigrade entries we can get v and u for 240 degree centigrade at 2 bar so by doing that we get v Two equal to one point one seven five two meter cube per kg. U two equal to two seven one seven one five point six kilo joule per kg. So these are the values. So state two is fixed. Now state three process two to three occurs. constant volume why because the piston is now hitting it as it just stops so it cannot move upward so constant volume so here we can say v3 will be equal to v2 equal to 1.1752 meter cube per kg so one value is fixed and what is given is temperature is given final temperature is given as 1000 degree centigrade so these are the two state as two state properties available that is at 1000 degree centigrade the volume is 1.152 so what is this state so 1000 degree centigrade so the state should be superheated already it is superheated in the previous state so further heating has done has been carried out so it should be superheated state state is superheated vapor but now the problem is i don't know the pressure we know that all the superheated tables are given in terms of pressures so once the pressure is known we can go to the particular table and do 
But now we have to go to a particular table where the temperature is 1000 degrees and the specific volume is 1.1752 meter cube per kg. So we have to go to the tables and get the value of pressure and U from that table. So if you go here, 1000 degrees. So if you say for example 2 bar, it is actually it should be more than 2 bar because already we are in 2 bar in the state 2. So now 3 bar if you take 3 bar I find the volume still high. 4 bar it is 1.469. What is the volume required is 1.175. Okay. So now you can see these two are higher. So go to higher pressure where the volume reduces. 5 bar it is for 1000 it is 1.175. So it is very close to our value. So this is the state for us. The pressure has reached 5 bar and the temperature has reached 1000 degrees where the specific volume is 1.175 which we have calculated. So we can take the U value as 4052. So here 1000 degrees 1.175 pressure is 5 bar and U 3 is 4052 kilo joule per kg. So this is the value. So now all the states are fixed. Okay, now what you should do is you can apply the first law Q122 equal to W122 plus U2 minus U1 delta Ke equal to delta Pe equal to 0. So from this I can say first we will calculate work. Work is when there is a change in volume which has occurred in the process 1 to 2. So I can say work here is P into 2 into 200 this is mass into P into V2 minus V1. Okay, so I will write the value system 1.1752 minus 0 0.0010032. So this is V2 minus V1. So that will be equal to 469.6 kilojoules. Okay, so delta U122 will be equal to M into uh, M into U2 minus U1 which is 5 to 2 1.4 kilojoules. So Q122 can be calculated as 5, 6, 9, 1 kilojoules. So now for process 2 to 3 delta V equal to 0 so W equal to 0. So Q223 equal to U3 minus U1, so U2, U3 minus U2. So that means you will see this is M into U3, small U3 minus small U2, which is equal to 8363.8 kilojoules. So now let us try to draw the diagram, TV diagram. Saturation lines we have to draw for all the things. First is 200 kilopascals or 2 bar. Two hundred So here initially 25 degrees centigrade is the temperature. So here 25 degrees centigrade. So state was somewhere here, subcooled. Then that is state 1. Okay. Now state 2 was 240 degrees. So maybe this is this is 120.2 degrees centigrade saturation. Then say 240 degrees somewhere here. This is 240. Okay. So this is the state 2. So the state 1 first the liquid subcool liquid goes to saturation saturated liquid then latent heat is added then it becomes saturated vapor 
then it becomes superheated vapor. So that is the state two, state one, state two. Then what happens? Pressure increases, volume remains constant. So volume remains constant from now, right? So this is the volume V two, V two. You can say this is V one, V one. Okay. So now what is the final pressure? Two to three final pressure is five bar. So something here. Only qualitatively, I am showing here something like this. So this is actually thousand degrees centigrade. May not to be the scale. Please understand thousand degrees centigrade. Actually, should be much higher than the critical point. Okay, critical point temperature is three seventy three. So I'll draw it properly. So, this is thousand. Okay, no constant volume. So two to three here is this process superheated to superheated. So this is three state. So this is the way first constant pressure process sub cool liquid at two hundred kilo pascal, which because temperature is twenty five degrees less than the saturation temperature. Now it is heated, becomes saturated liquid at Two hundred kilopascals. Then later it is added, becomes saturated vapor. Then it goes to superheated vapor in final state. Constant pressure process occurs till that. Then constant volume process occurs, where the volume remains constant and uh, pressure increases. So this is five bar. So two bar to five bar. Final pressure is uh, five bar. We have estimated correct. The temperature is given was given. So corresponding to this temperature and uh, this V two was one point one seven five. So based upon this, we can we have calculated this pressure as five bar. So this is the state diagram. Always when you draw a state diagram, you have to show the saturated lines. Saturated. This is called saturated liquid line, and this is the saturated vapor line. <coughs> Saturation line should be shown. So this completes this problem. Now this uh, for fourth one. A cylinder in which a piston is retained by a spring. So, like this spring is having, this is retained by this. Always the spring is connected to the top portion of the piston. This contains water. Water means it can be liquid and vapor. Initially contains 0.01 meter cube. So, V1 is 0.01 meter cube. The mass Of the water is also given 0.5, and uh, the cross-sectional area of piston is given. AP is 0.05 meter cube. Mass is 0.5 kg. Okay, now mercury manometer is connected to the cylinder. Initially, reaches the height height difference between its limbs. That is this and this. It has 37.5 centimeters as shown in the figure. Water is now slowly heated, okay, heated until the piston rises through a distance of same thirty-seven point five five centimeters. So from this it goes to some height. So this also is thirty-seven point five thirty-seven point five centimeters. So now. At any instant during this process, bottom surface of the piston, this bottom surface of the piston, and the mercury meniscus in the open limb are at the same level. So when the piston goes here, mercury meniscus also will be in the same level. So this will be the meniscus level. That is, the from this point, the meniscus also would rise to thirty-seven point five. Centimeter. Similarly, this will drop to the reason point five. So the final state you can say somewhere here and here will be meniscus levels. Okay. Assume that the pressure exerted in the left limb. So here the left limb pressure exerted in the left limb of the manometer due to the pressure presence of water above the mercury column. So this is the darker region is mercury and this is water. So this water has some height and it has a density of thousand. So it can also put some pressure on this point, correct? 
but it is told that assume that the pressure exerted in the left limb of the manometer due to the presence of water above the mercury column is negligible. So, you need not take into account of that because the mercury density is 13,600 kilogram per meter cube, water density is 1000. So, we can neglect it. So, 13 times more density, no, so we can neglect it. We can also include it if you want, but in this clear clarity showed, uh, show, uh, given that no, do not need to take into account of the water hydrostatic pressure in the left limb. Now, G is 9.81 and uh, atmospheric pressure is 1 bar. So, this is the problem. So, the pressure at every point can be calculated as rho G H plus P atmosphere. Here, uh, this open link here, the atmospheric pressure acts that is 1 bar. Okay. Now, what find the initial and final pressure of water, the relationship between pressure and volume, the heat and work interactions. Okay, so this is the problem. So let us do this solution. <coughs> Initial pressure equal to atmospheric pressure plus density of mercury into G into H1 which is equal to 1 into 10 power 5 because 1 bar plus 13600 into 9.81 into 37.5 into 10 power minus 2. So, that will be equal to 150 thousand pascals or 1.5 bar ok so that is the initial final pressure P2 will be equal to P atmosphere plus rho Hg G into H2 now what is H2 H2 will be when the when the piston moves to 37.5 the meniscus in the right limb will also go up to the height of 37.5, but the left limb will also descend from the given position to 37.5. So, the total H will now be 2 times the 2 times of 37.5. Okay, so that we have to take into account. So, when the piston goes up by a height of H, the difference between the meniscus levels in the right and left limb will go by 2 H. So, that we will take into account and calculate this as 1 into 10 power 5 plus 13600 into 9.81 into initially the difference was 37.5 plus due to the descent of mercury by in the right limb by 37.5 left also will go down by Perfect. So, there is increase of 2 H. So, that into 10 power minus 2. So, this is the H2. Now, that is our delta H you can say. So, now that will be equal to 250,000 pascals or 2.5 bar. So, the initial and final pressures are got. From pressure based saturation tables for P equal to 1.5 bar, we can take Vf equal to 0 0.001053 meter cube per kg, Vg equal to 1.159 meter cube per kg as we have done in the last time. Similarly, UF and UG. UF equal to 466.9 kilojoule per kg and the UG equal to 2520 kilojoule per kg. So, these are the values. Now, 
how will you calculate the value v1 first we have to say v1 we have to can calculate as what 0.01 this initial volume v1 meter cube divided by m m is 0.5 kg in kg so you will get this as that is initial specific volume as 0.02 meter cube per kg okay now you see that the vf is less than v1 is less than vg correct because you can see v1 is more than vf less than vg so that means state 1 is saturated mixture of liquid and vapor that's it okay so now i can find the quality what is quality at state 1 will be equal to v1 minus vf divided by vg minus vf which is equal to Point zero one six three six two five. So that is the quality. So from that I can find u u one equal to u f plus x one into u g minus u f. So that will be equal to five hundred point five kilo joule per kg. Okay. So state one and the properties are fixed now. state 2 p equal to 2.5 bar now again for this what is uh, v2 we can calculate v2 as v2 that is total volume is v1 plus a into delta h which is equal to 0 0.01 plus 0 0.05 meter square area into 37.5 into 10 power minus 2 because piston goes up by 37.5 centimeters. So that is the piston uh, that in centimeters 37.5. So convert into meters. I put this. So V2 will be equal to 0 0.02875 meter cube. So I can find the specific volume as V2 by M which is equal to 0 0.0575 meter cube. Now from saturation tables, tables for 2.5 bar I can find Vf equal to 0 0.00 1067 meter cube per kg and Vg equal to 0 0.746 meter cube per kg. So now we can again find that V2, Vf is less than V2 is less than Vg. So the state 2 is also a yeah, saturated mixture of liquid and vapor ok so I can again find the quality x2 will be equal to v2 minus vf divided by vg minus vf vg vf etc are from 2.5 bar which, has, uh, which we have written earlier so from this I can find the x2 equal to 0 0.07575 and uh, now uf equal to 532.8 at 2.5 bar similarly ug equal to 2537 kilojoule per kg at 2.5 bar so that means u2 can be calculated as uf plus x2 into 
ug minus uf which is equal to 684.71 kilojoule per kg. So now we can apply the first law and find the values that is for work and heat interaction. So what is W equal to integral P D V. Okay. For that I need for doing this I need P versus V relationship. Okay. So now for doing that let us write pressure at any point is equal to P atmosphere plus 13600 to 9.81 that is rho hg into g into delta h which is equal to 37.5 plus 2h into 10 power minus 2 okay because from the initial point when piston goes up by a height of h then the difference between the meniscus in the right and left limbs will become 2h so the total height difference delta h will be 37.5 plus 2 centimeters or 37.5 plus 2 h into 10 power minus 2 meters. So that will be the pressure at every point. Now I will connect volume, volume at any instant after the initial state v minus 0 0.01. This is v1. So that will get can written as 0.05 this area of the piston into delta h into 10 power minus 2. So that means I can say h equal to or delta h equal to so I will say h itself h is better so h equal to what 2000 into v minus 0 0.01 okay. So now we can see that I am writing h in terms of v. So then I can write pressure in terms of v directly. So pressure is written as substituting the value 100 kilopascals. So 10 power 5 minus 3335.4 into sorry plus 53. 36640 into V. Substituting this, I get this value. So that is the relationship between pressure. Or I can say which is equal to 9666464.6 plus 533644. 0 into V. So that is the relation between the pressure and this. So now I can integrate this because pressure and volume relation is gone. So I can calculate W1 to 2 as integrating this. Instead of pressure, you put this volume based expression here and get W1 to 2 as 3751 joules or 3.751 kilo joules. Similarly, Q1 to 2 can be calculated as W1 to 2 plus M into U2 minus U1 delta KE PE equal to delta KE equal to 0. Okay, so now this will be equal to 3.751 into mass is 0.5 into U2 is 684. 0.71 minus u1 is 500 500.5 so that will be equal to 95.856 kilo joules okay here you can see the uh, the pressure increases linearly with volume 
and uh, state one state two both are saturated states so this is the problem number 4